Why is it key to get on FaceTime with a girl? I don't FaceTime every girl I link. I think y'all, like, listen. Everything is not, like, always the same. You could, you could link a woman and not FaceTime her. You could, you could link her and, like, text her once a week. Like, do, do what works for you in that situation. You feel me? How do I approach groups? I'm from New York. I feel like they're going to violate me. Just be honest with yourself, bro. The man you are, right where you are, as you are right now, is the same man you will be anywhere else. So if you're scared to approach a group of women because they're from New York, you might make an excuse if they was from Africa. You might make an excuse if they was from Germany. You might make an excuse. So if you're a type of man that's going to find an excuse, instead of just, just doing what you want to do, you'll do it anywhere. Mm. So you'll, you'll just do it anywhere, you feel me? What's good, Ty? What's good, Taki? What's good? What's good? Britt with the big 11 months. Levity with the T1 sub. I shouted you out. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. You mean? You mean? You mean? I'm going to pause that. Um, I just ain't going to be playing a lot of music in the background since I'm posting vibes now. I need to be able to, you know, make sure they don't copyright my shit. It's so much music that be on my other vibes that get copyrighted. It's crazy. <clears throat> I got hit with two ads while you're talking. Who who ran ads again? That's crazy. Kai and Blueface stream. A lot of people have been telling me to react to that. Kai and Blueface stream. The boy Kelby getting stole on. Um. Uh, the Kai and Aiden putting each other on blind dates. It's so much shit, chat. It's so much shit. I'm all, I'm hopping on Call of Duty later tonight. I'm hopping on Call of Duty later tonight. You know what I'm saying? I was playing a uh, model for two yesterday. That shit was fun. No bad. <clears throat> or multiplayer. Uh, Warzone is okay. Blue Blueface low key crying for help. Trying to tell me it as listen, I ain't gonna lie, I've I've seen a similar situation where like a super toxic woman, and this is not to say Blueface is is an angel, but like a super toxic woman has had a man crippled in checkmate only because of his emotional weakness for her. Um on paper, on paper, in in reality. And even everybody would just be like, yo, if she's really the problem, like, leave her alone and go on ahead and live about your life. But who knows what be going on behind closed doors? Um, who knows what kind of blackmail she got on him? Like, I'm telling you, women get crazy when they don't want to leave you, bro. I ain't even going to sit here and say, like, oh, yeah, just, you know, block her on everything. And that's the, that's the end of the problem. She probably know where multiple of his properties is at. She probably know where his mom live. Um, you never know what extent she'll go to. No bullshit. I do think they they as the recurrent state. I don't think they're better together right now. They have that they have that uh, volcanic roller coaster love, which is very harmful to both of them in the short term and the long term. Fresh guy on grilling. I seen Shire and repost that. React to King's. Yo, don't spam. Don't spam. I don't know if you're new here, but I hate spamming. I don't just react to stuff because people spam to do it. I react to what I want to. She will probably. Yo, woman threaten that, bro. I'm telling you, listen. I done seen some fucked up shit. Like, like a woman will be like, yo, I'm going to do this to me, or I'm going to send these screenshots of you saying this to me to this person. And, and you know, if you break up with me. I'm telling you, like, bro, shit be crazy out here, bro. Like, these women will go to from far extents. But that does not free him of, like, he's innocent, he's crying for help, he's just a victim. Who knows what he has done, which has contributed to the current problem or the current state of their relationship. Because it's like, well, she is crazy when you met her. You know what I'm saying? And also, what I, another thing I've seen is that... um, 
if y'all remember, it was a time Blueface was on Aiden Stream a long time ago. And his and his baby mom yelled at him like this a similar way. So it's kind of like this pattern of like women just like kind of get crazy with him. No bullshit. I don't know if he has a type. It, listen, it could be a lot of things. Number one, he he encourages that out of women with whether he knows it or not. Number one. Number two, he has a type. Number three, he don't have a certain type of structure to him and his masculinity and the way he moves as a man, which prevents these problems. What you saying, Blueface, the problem? I mean, of course. It's, it's a part of his life. You know what I mean? And a lot of times, chat, in, in all actuality, like, uh, Charles 3-1, I appreciate the uh, gift this up. Uh, in, re in reality, bro, you teach people how to treat you. So had she been with another man, with another like set of principles on or like a boundaries and structure, she wouldn't be acting like that. I on my life she wouldn't be acting like that. You know what I mean? And that's just facts. And the, and the evidence for that is you look at Blueface dealing with other women, they all act crazy like that. Like so, he's the common denominator. And I'm not saying I'm going to blame him for a grown woman's behavior. He's a part of the problem. She's a part of the problem. And um, unfortunate for Kai, he got caught in the middle of that the wall broken and I coughing over his shoulder. It's like, yo, what the fuck, gang? What kind of, what kind of show we running here? <laughs> ah, shit, I'm telling you he better than me. He's way better than me. I, I swear on my soul, he better than me. He he handled that very maturely. He handled that, um, you know, on his end, you know, nobody would look at Kai and be like, yo, you're a part of the problem. Like, we clearly saw, I didn't even watch the full stream. I only saw, like, four or five different clips from the stream. And all of them was violated. I did not see one positive clip. Obviously, those are the ones that go viral, but I did not see one positive clip, bro. All violations, disrespect, and just all types of shit. He ended up very professional as on his on his platform, part of his brand. So I, I commend Kai for that. Um, but in, in reality, like and like on some real shit, that they was way out of pocket, bro. <laughs> they was way out of pocket, bro. Way out of pocket. Way out of pocket. Way out of pocket. Blueface need help. That's a grown ass man, gang. That's a woman he chooses to be with. How can you say someone needs help when they choose to, when their actions are, like, the, they're facing the consequences of their action? It is very well in his own choice and decisions and responsibility to, to do what he can do or wants to do. Now, everything isn't that black and white. You know what I mean? I've seen situations where. Uh, dude was kind of like in checkmate with a woman because you like you know, okay I love you I care about you, but you you threatening to hurt yourself, um you threatening me, like you blackmailing me you got me you you, you damn near trying to put me in checkmate. Chicago representative checking in. What's good? What's good? CJ. So she she damn near in checkmate. She got him in checkmate over who God knows what. So it's like it's a tough situation You're between a rock and a hard place. Um. But I think as a man, he has to realize, like, all right, how am I contributing to my own reality? Like, how am I contributing to my own set of circumstances to the point where what can I do about it to create a new one? Who want to be who want to be dealing with that shit, bro? I know the fuck not me. I like when women are loving, caring. I like when she come over, baby, you want a massage? Oh, I want to cook for you. I, you know, I want to buy you this. I, I love when women is like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that other side, that whole toxic... Uh, who wants that in life? Like, like, who really wants that? Like, I think everybody at the end of the day, like, you choosing to have somebody in your life, bro, you should, it, it should be at least to a standard where the overall, not perfect, not clear-cut perfect, but it overall brings more joy to your life. Seeing the Kelvin suspect fight on November. I saw it on Twitter. I saw it on Twitter. That boy, that boy has the awareness of a fucking 
of a fucking TI-84 calculator, bro. The moment he called that man a bitch, and then the dude said, who, what, when, where, and why, the fight started. Unless he would have copped the plea. Unless he would have copped the plea right there, the fight already started. That, that was fighting words. But he's so, he so like, I guess, internet or, or like, I don't know what be wrong with y'all, bro. This is why I don't, this is why I don't want to beef with nobody on the internet. I don't want to argue with you. Please don't diss me. I will not diss you back. I would just hope that you hold the same standard to when I see you in real life. Because that's what I'm on. Like, I don't, like, this whole, oh, this guy is that, like, that name calling shit, bro. Everybody is not for that, bro. Everybody didn't grow up like you. Everybody didn't grow up where conflict was resolved with, you know, maturity and, no, 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 this is a real world, bro, somebody would smack the shit out of you and take all your shit, I mean, he damn near lucky no jumper was right there, because if this was, like, on the streets, bro, he might have, like, he might have, he might have knocked him out and then tapped his pockets, like, on. bro, whole chain, like, yo, that shit get real, bro, but he, he being, he, he, you could tell he was way out of his league because, um, you know, the moment he said that to him, he just, I don't know if he thought they were going to, like, keep arguing. I, I don't know if he thought, like, he was just going to call him a bitch and he was going to call him a bitch back. Like, I don't know if he thought it was an argument. Like, bro, everybody ain't for that shit. Watch your mouth. Or what? Or you getting the two pieces and it, and it ain't even about to be an or. I'm just going to do it the moment you challenge that shit back. Um, but on a professional business level, nobody wants to do that. You know what I'm saying? But clearly, you know, Kelpie was playing the whole role of, like, I'm going to get smart. I'm going to say what I want and what you going to do about it. And it's kind of like, yo, my man. Dudes die. Dudes have nothing to lose nowadays, bro. Like, he, he, he listen, he lucky that was a, a couple punches. Like, in real life, somebody ready to go at him for that, bro. A lot of y'all trolls. That's why I feel like, bro, there's no such thing as troll. I never met a troll in real life. I never met a troll in real life, like somebody that just would would dicky a stranger in a negative way, because I feel like y'all y'all have this understanding that somebody will fuck you up, like just it's that simple. You know what I mean? Like it, this is this this is the real world. I think he he really came back to reality after them couple punches, but even after that, he said something at the end was like, uh, "Oh, you still a bitch, my boy? You're bleeding." Out your face, not even like your nose, like not not like you know some people nose just be bleeding off of like a hit, like your face is bleeding. There's some UFC shit. How another man gonna spit in your face and not make a move? I mean the, the spit came two seconds before the punch, so I mean he sh he should have moved the moment he said what you said to me. If he was if he was ready to you know die on his words, because that's another thing we could sit here and have a moral high ground and say, oh well you know, two men solemnly should not put their hands on each other, but we live in the real world, whereas though you disrespect a man, and a man will see fit to do what he needs to do for his honor and his respect, um, you know, was that the setting, the time, or the place, or the platform, probably not, you know what I mean, but he, he tested, he, he pressed, he poked the bear, you know what I mean, so... Speak to a man like he got a gun to here. Yeah, y'all liked when 1950 said that, huh? I never even heard that before, but... I mean, whether you call it that or whether you just, you know, grew up around some fucking wolves, you know better, man. Like, like if you... Like, you don't say certain things unless you're ready to catch smoke behind it. Which is where respect comes from. It's like, yo, I'm not even gonna say certain things because I already know what, I'm, what, what, what that will cause. Not out of fear, but out of respect. I, I'm not I'm not gonna force either of our hands. So let's deal with each other in a way which we don't have to go there. You know what I mean? Spit on people is crazy. Just, yo, I ain't never been spit on in my life. I never spit on somebody in my life. That is crazy, bro. It just shows you the amount of respect he had for me. Like, pussy, I spit on you. Do you watch the World Cup? I, bro, I barely watch like regular sports, like American sports, like basketball and football, bro. Just saw the fight on Twitter. Whew. I don't even know if I can play it on Twitch. I don't think I can. What's worse, spit on, slap, spit on. Definitely spit on. 
Like, yo, people, all types of shit be in people's saliva, bro. Then a nigga breath might stink. <laughs> Isn't there a blurred version? Okay, okay, I seen it on Twitter. What y'all talking about? Somebody fill me in. Yep, the dude Kelpie we reacted to uh, got punched on, man. Chat, should we look at the Reddit before we start reacting? Like I said, I'm gonna be on Call of Duty later. Um, we got a lot to react to. I got a lot to upload from other reactions. Like we went, we we reacted to a bunch of the King Sid videos. Um, we did a primetime reaction. I might re I might re-record that one. Um, to actually put some substance in it, cause I think we was just reacting to it on like some Twitch shit. You know what I mean? What I'm posted to my young niggas. Wow, they don't give a fuck. A hundred k and ain't enough. Love from Israel. Shout out to Israel, man. That's the fake pimp. Yeah. Top three disrespectful things: spit, slap, and call a nigga a bitch. No, 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 no. Spit and touching you invasively, like I'm like and I'm invading your privacy as a man. That's that's probably number two. Slap. You could like you could like try to you could slap me when I'm not looking. You know. You know, you, you just because you slapped me don't mean I didn't do nothing after that. So that, that that's a whole nother case. But spitting, regardless of if I fuck you or after that, it's like you still spit on me. Um, and then invading, uh, letting another man invade your privacy. Like, like if another man can come up on you and like touch your pockets, specifically your pockets, like in life, like if a man could like touch your pockets and search you. Like, that is crazy. And that man is not a police officer that has you pinned, like, gun to your back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's a that's an evasion of, of respect. That's a that's totally out of pocket right there. You know what I mean? And that's just the facts. <clears throat> Slap in the face. Still not as disrespectful. Where where else would you, where, where else was the, was the slap you was talking about? Duh. Fucking a nigga bitch in his bed too. Um, that's not really disrespectful because what can he do because his 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 chick is a is a smut. You know what I mean? Like that that don't have nothing to do with him. He he just she representing him badly, of course, but uh she she's the one that's that's going out bad at the end of the day. Cause I think I could I could I could throw the sheets away, I could you know whatever like it, it's it's still some it's really crazy to think about like a nigga fuck my bitch on my bed I, that thought can't even register in my mind no bullshit saying shit about niggas but nah these niggas be talking like verbally verbally it's not really a lot of disrespectful things, um, name especially on the name calling department but being told what to do is another thing like a, a man giving you orders disrespectfully like shut the fuck up nigga. You, and you shut up, that's crazy. Sit down, nigga. And you sit down or, or move and you get out the way. Like, that's more disrespectful than a, a curse word at you or calling like dis, like like that kind of disrespect. Like, name calling, like, what are we in fourth grade? Like, your mom's a Maybe bitch. Like, come on, man. Madrid 59, I appreciate the two months, man. You're. Have you any experiences with narcissists? Um, it's a very odd question. I don't really care. Um, obviously, I feel like all bad bitches are narcissists, man. I deal with a lot of those. But it don't really bother me. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Fucking nigga bitch in his bed. Yeah, getting, getting, the chick, getting your chick hit in your bed, gang. That's tough. Burn the whole bed. Burn the whole house. You know what I'm saying? Slap this in my mom, top one most disrespectful. That's corny. That's not even disrespectful. Like, I mean, keep it a bean, like, yo, a nigga disres any disrespect to your mom is just like you you gotta slide behind that. I ain't gonna lie. If if it's not beneath you. Cause chat, to be honest, certain shit just be beneath you in life. And on and, and the only reason I would even say it would get respected or acknowledged if it's, if it was like right in front of you. 
You know what I mean? Because on the internet, it's a lot of he say, she say. Anybody can say anything. A lot of people don't really understand how real life works from living on the internet. You know what I mean? It's so it's it's a lot. It's a lot of space for nut shit, which is why you cannot be as reactionary to it. Um, you know, because I like I like people don't do this in real life. People really don't like the internet. Really brings the the character out of people, bro. I'm I, and I see it, and it just be so obvious. Fucking a nigga moms too. I mean, if uh, somebody fucked your mom in order to put you here, what you mean? Yeah, man. Some guy slaps your girl ass in front of you. It's disrespectful. Well, a lot of y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all women are getting y'all their ass slaps not in front of you. So, which, you know, cry to your mammy, boy. Cry to your mammy. Oh, I got the alerts turned off on this on this joint. Hold on. Oh no, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, we said my homie told me a story that he was posted uh, posted outside Seven Eleven waiting for the homies. And old head told him to bounce, but he took it as who is this fool talking to me like that? He got chain snatched five minutes later. I mean, he just was lacking. Like, why are you standing outside of a Seven Eleven that you could get robbed at? You know what I mean? He just was lacking. It's, oh, Madrid 59 with another gifted sub. I appreciate you, G. Um, people from a country would say. They really do. They really do. Because there's not a lot of consequences online. You can make a fake account. You can make some bold statements and then turn your phone off. And you just back to normal. How do you confront a loud roommate? Hey, you're loud, and it bothers me. It's one sentence, bro. Why y'all niggas be so scary? Like, listen, chat. Do y'all be getting bullied in in real life? Like, just be honest, bro. Just be honest. Like, you, like, are you are like, there's no way you just ask me how to how to confront a loud roommate. Like, hey, you're loud. It's. I'm not saying you gotta be ready to fight or dis. Like, come on, bro. Like, just you can't tell it like it is. You can't call a spade a spade. He said, "Yes, save me." Oh, grown. I hope you're not a grown ass man. Even if that's your homie, like it's it's certain it's respect. You know what I'm saying? Every, I'm not even condoning violence. I'm not advocating for violence. This is just boundaries and respect. This is this is all I'm saying. You know what I mean? But no bullshit. I remember I almost got kicked out of my dorm my freshman year because uh, the neighbors I had was. We used to blast music. We used to have people in and out that John. We used to have that shit lit. I ain't gonna lie. And they, them, they was the type. We was next to some like chicks, bro. Like they, some white chicks, bro. They would and they would be. They was twins too. They would go to sleep at like eight, like eight p.m. or some shit. Like, oh, they was so annoying, bro. I even get mad thinking about it. We went to the whole office and district and all that. But what she didn't know was. The the office bull, like the top bull, was the uncle of one of the, of a chick I was messing with. So it was like, gang, I already know this nigga, gang. Like you you trying to tell on me to a nigga that I already kind of like got to connect with, and then on top of that, we more plugged into the program than you are. Like, but you know you don't want to you don't want to get start acting crazy. So you know, two Karens right living right next door to me, bro. We would just be having functions and over here with. Like she be, they be come to the door like damn near ready to cry, bro. Nigga, tell I know everyone. I'm telling you, bro. Chestnut checkers. In any given, listen, I'm telling you, any job I ever been with, any any given hierarchy or or any given environment which has a hierarchy that I've ever been in, I've always been well connected through it. Any given one, any given one, because I know the influence of people. You go tell like man, it's a customer tell my manager something. My manager loves me. Imagine my supervisor tell my manager something. The district manager loved me. The manager's man, like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let me show y'all something, bro. I had seen this a while ago because it was on my Instagram um, thing because of uh, like the like the history. Like you know, I, it's like kind of like Snapchat. Like Instagram would be like, oh, you know, this this much time ago. 
today or this this is that or blah blah blah, right? Look, let me show you something. Like, y'all nigga, I'm I'm we could really get we could really talk game. We could really talk influence, bro. This game moves the fucking world, bro. People people move the fucking world. And you know people, you can do what the fuck you want. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. You know what I'm saying? You you do not have to follow the rules in any given setting when you when you know the right information or the or the right people know you. You know what I'm saying? And that's just facts. That's just how I don't make the rules, that's just how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me see if I can remember where this was at. I gotta find this. I gotta find this. No bullshit, bro. Oh yeah, look, look at this. Look at this. Look, look my name all look 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 at how and this is only a couple of them. Let me let me just let me say this. Let me say this. Watch this. this Imagine trying to fire this person. Imagine, right? Imagine I'm I'm like known at this huge ass company just for just for how I talk to people and how I deal with people, right? And you and you make a complaint. And then they don't they don't know they don't know who I am in the building, bro. This was this was a chick a chick's literally sent me this. This is this is way back, but it, it showed me this. A chick literally sent me this when I wasn't at work. Hold on. I wasn't even at work this day. Bro, listen, that was two. That was two. I'm going to explain it what that was. We had a, um, you could leave a review, right? We, you could leave a review. And she only showed two of them. She only showed two of them. Nigga, my name was on there every week all over the board. All over the whole board. She said so many times, only showed two, bro. I'm telling you, if she would have been like this, my shit all over the whole joint. So we had a joint where at the on the receipt, at the store, they could leave a, a online review for you. Like they could put your name on it, right? So listen, and I, I will always tell them. I'll be like, cause my nickname, my tag name said Ty. Nobody knew me by my full name. Only certain people called me by my full name, and that's if they knew me for longer than like eight years, or you know, I most people call me Ty. Or they don't know my full name, let alone my like your last name, middle name, nothing like that. I have to go by Ty, you know, in certain cir circumstances, unless I'm in like a professional, whatever, right? So at this job. Boom, I would get the customers to, to you know, if they fucked with me, I'd be like, yo, um, you know, just do it. Take It's real quick, you know, do the online, blah, 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 blah. And nigga, you don't even know how many customers I had where my name literally dominated the whole fucking board. Ty was this. Ty was so nice. Ty was helpful, blah, blah, blah. So even the days I wasn't at work, you got district managers, store managers, regional managers, whatever. They come in, who is Ty? I'm playing chess. Who is Ty? Ty, why Ty name all over this joint? Then I come in, the days I come in on, I'm, my, my reputation already precedes me. Then the days I'm there, I told y'all, this is the same job where we had like the bags. You, you would sell the reusable bags and then we would take, we would pop the tag off the reusable bag and write our names on it. Nigga, I had a stack like this big. Nobody could outsell me when it came to the reusable bags because people didn't know how to talk. I would listen, and the bags was like, some I think some was five dollars, three dollars, and like two dollars, but they had different joints. I will always, always, always close the conversation with the customer to where they be like, "Yeah, go ahead and do it," because they fuck with me. I, it would be so, it would be so bad, bro. Like I would go on break and, and have my stack with with my name written on them with the tags, and I come back and people would be trying to compete. Like, oh yeah, look, look how many I sold. Look, I did that. I did that at by three p.m. today. Like, you ain't know shit. I'm telling you, bro. Like. Next thing you know, people getting written up, people getting fired, people getting all that. But guess who? Guess who not? Guess who getting connections? Guess who's getting um, recommendations? Guess who's getting referrals? Guess who's getting? You see what I'm saying? People don't be knowing how to move, bro. People do not be knowing how to move in life, at all. But name better not be Tyrone. Hell no. Oh, we're the dealership. No, 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 no. He was in high school back then. Yep, that was 2018. I was like a, uh, I think I was most of my senior year. You know what I'm saying? What job was it? That was Primark. And if you know anything about Primarks, they be big as fuck. And this was at the biggest mall or the second biggest mall on the East Coast. 
So this was a huge ass store and a huge ass mall. Nigga, I, do y'all know how how much I used to practice my mouthpiece in that store? Do y'all know how much I used to practice my mouthpiece in that store? All the women retail assistants we had, all the women customers. I, nigga, I just was telling you, those those was like the straight farming days. The straight farming. I had already been farming my whole years and years before that. But then when I got to that job, bro, it was like literally nonstop just dealing with people. Nonstop. That's for sure doing man. It was it's probably one of the closest things to it. You know what I'm saying? One of those, one of them situations. They have Primark in the US. It sure do. Bro can sell red popsicles to niggas in white gloves in hundred degree weather. Man, I could sell a nigga a flashlight in broad daylight. You know what I'm saying? Fuck is you talking about? Water what, what say water to the ocean. Salt to a snail. Social skills get better each shift. I already came with him. It just was like a... It just was like... It, it would just literally be like practicing the same punch a hundred times in a row every day. <clears throat> that shit was bad in there, bro. It was it was like real bad. Like, like real bad. That's why I kind of learned the hard way. You don't want to be messing with chicks you work with. You know what I'm saying? You really don't. You you kind of want to stay away for that. KOP Dooney Land. See, they don't know about KOP, bro. KOP, even if you don't work there, my nigga. But you know, listen, and I used to only work on Saturdays and Sundays because I was in school at the time. Go to KOP on a motherfucking Saturday from the hours. I used to work like um, 3 to 10, sometimes 1 to 10. But like most, I think I'm mo like 1 to 10s. I work a lot of 1 to 10s. 1 to 10s or 3 to 10, something like that. Boy, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Oh, shout out to Chibu, man. Chibu birthday today, man. Happy G Day, gang. Shout out to motherfucking Chibu in the building, baby. You know what I'm saying? Didn't know states had primarks. Um, it's a couple of malls have them. A couple of malls have them. Keep your business away from work, no cap. And this is the thing, like, even if it's it's a, it's a couple of reasons why you don't really want to be messing with chicks at your job. Let me tell y'all something. On some real shit. This for the real. This for the real peas, man. You got. You got number one. Pure tune with the big sixteen months. And this is in life, chat. This is why y'all want to move in silence. Happy belated Thanksgiving, gang. Happy belated Thanksgiving, man. You want to move in silence like the letter K in the word night. You want to move in silence like the like the letter G in the fucking word um gnarly. You know what I'm saying? So let me tell you something. It's two. It's like a lot of reasons, but the ones I've seen personally. That have, that have impacted me, almost caused me trouble, and have caused me trouble, is number one. In a, in a job, or in any given set, it could be school, a job, it could even be on this online shit, bro. Like, people will watch you, especially if you're a person that makes moves, you're a winner, you you, you know, other people like you, women like you, um, you, you make money, you manage money. Even, listen, I'm telling y'all, I was low-key. Like, I, I just, I couldn't be low-key because like my personality like spoke for itself like my like who I was spoke for itself and I never had any fear so when I say low key I just mean low key like I I I I'm not loud overall like I'm not but I'm I'm like I'm like fucking I'm like poison like like you don't even see it but you feel it you know what I'm saying that's how I like moving so listen it's like it's like you be at a job and, and if you making moves, your, your managers like you, the, the customers like you, the people like you, or you in school, your teachers like you, um, other women like you, uh, you, you got a decent amount of friends, and like people don't really have, people will look for bad things about you, bro. People people will look for ways that, that you just, like, they will just look for flaws in you because you just, over the whole time, you just overall a genuine person, you friendly, you know what I'm saying, and you just, you just funny or charismatic, whatever the case may be. Number one. People in the workplace, they will get jealous. But the reason I open it up to other settings is because it can happen anywhere. But in the workplace, let's say you sell cars. If they see you selling more than them, they will get jealous. Instead of, and then guess what? It's a, it's a, it's a saying. In order to have the tallest building in the, in the city, you, you have two options. Build your building up or burn everybody else's around you down. And then you'll be the last building standing. So you'll be the tallest building. Most people would rather burn the whole fucking city to shrivels before they build their building up. 
So when they want the tallest building around and your building is taller than theirs, they will try to find a way to burn you down. It, it, instead of saying, like, yo, how do you do it? Most of the niggas would just try to, like, mind you, I was cool with a lot of them anyway, but would try to, like, like try to, like, take a chick off me or, like, talk to her uh, some kind of way, try to get in her ear and whole time she on my dick already. So it was like, gang, she not, she not fucking with you. Like, she just going to tell me you said something. Like, weirdo. So dudes would try to t talk down on you. They would get jealous of you. Just off of you being who you are. Mind you, it, it just literally might be in you. It just might be in you that you interact with people. You you, you make people smile, laugh, and all that. Dog, I was getting cock block from my manager. Cuz, like, 28. He, like, 30. I'm 17. Most of the chicks at the job was in between the ages of 16 to 19. Most of them. It was a couple chicks. One was, like, she was, like, 24. Um, she was she was bisexual. Um, it was another chick. She was bad as hell. She was bad as hell. It was another chick. Like, it wasn't that many older chicks. Like, it was always... Bro, he's literally competing or mad at me because I'm doing what I want to do with, with, with chicks my age. But guess what? I could call anybody that worked with me at that job. He would literally be trying to be, trying to be Mr. Bitches with the staff. Like, with the, with, the, with the chicks under him, bro. And, and mind you, he's pushing 30. He probably was over 30 at the time. He wouldn't just outright slick hate and cock block. But it'd be obvious. It'd be obvious, bro. I'm, let me give you an example. Boom, big ass store. You might, you, I, I was at registers, right? But the thing about working at the register is you had two ways to get, <laughs> you had two ways to, to get your work in, to get active with the bitches if you was at the register. You could take the clothes and put them back on the floor. Like, okay, the clothes starting to pile on the rack. Or let me run them. Let me put the clothes back out. Or you could be on... Oh, let me actually add a third one. You could be on a... Let me add four. You could run the clothes from the register back out on the regular floor and put them in the sections that they belong. You could um, go to the bathroom. You could be on break. Or the fourth one I was going to add is that, um, you know, the customers, you know, come to your, your register or certain women come from the floor to the register and a lot of women would do that like if they wanted to see you or get around you they would they would take people off the floor to come help on the register to fill a, a, the extra three or two registers that was uh left available mind you it's already like 12 15 staff working at the register alone registers jumping like shit customers out the fucking door so you had limited ways to get to, to go to try to sneak like all right let me go over there and talk to the shorty in, in the children's section. Let me go over there and talk to the shorty that's in the men's section. Let me go over there and mess with this, this joint that's in the fitting room. You feel me? But you could always, you couldn't, listen, for me, he would catch me so many times and he would, he would since he's a manager, he knows who's at what register and I'm only there on the weekend. He knew if I was somewhere else, why you not at the register? Why you not at the register? Why you not at the register? I'm telling you, it will be times. Children like Coors, dog, she works in the children's section. You fucking Neanderthal. If she works in that section, that's the section. Do you know how stores work? How old are y'all? 12? All right, listen. But like I was saying, I'm in a section. I'm like fake. That's how I, that's how if I told you that story about the time I got caught cheating. Cause somebody took a picture of me um in the in the in the in the one of the in a mall with a, a chick, you know, whatever, and then sent it to who who was my girlfriend at the time. Whole situation. But it was it was like I was at one of the I was at the girl's section. Fake helping her fold clothes while I was, you know what I'm saying, like rapping her and, you know what I'm saying, arm around her and they caught that picture and all this nut shit. But those are the ways you could do it. So if I was in another section, but then mind you, on top of this, there were, there were three registers, but we only used two. It was the blue registers and then it was the orange registers. So blue registers might have had these women and, you know, people at it that you fuck with, but orange register might have been lit too. And they start trying to separate niggas. It's, it, it was like school 2.0, bro. It's like when you fuck with somebody, they try to move your, your whole other friend group across the fucking store. But whole time, boom, your register might be empty. So you go help that register. And then let's, next thing you know, he see you over there talking to this woman. Like he literally could see me spitting game and would be like, yo, why are you why are you not at the register? The line, and, but he would make an excuse like, oh, the, the line, the line is busy. Whole time I could be like, yo, we just we just emptied the line. I'm I'm putting the clothes out. No, 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 no. They, they need you at the register. What? What? And then I, I as I'm walking away, start start going up to the girl and might be like, where are you supposed to be? 
you, you look back, it's so obvious that he's trying to spit game. Like, he, he over there smiling, like, looking at her like this, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, where you supposed to be? You know what I'm saying? Why you ain't in your section? You know what I mean? Like, like, I, like all the men, he would, he, would get, he would try to regulate all the men. All the men. I'm trying to call anybody. It's like he would, he would obviously, he would just be so obviously doing it and just be hating. Be hating, bro. Grown-ass man compete with, with, with niggas in high school over high school bitches. It was ridiculous, bro. It, it was ridiculous, bro. So, um, another another ways, bro, I'm telling you, like, it, it just, I'm telling you, if I could just, if I had, if I could, like, screenshot my memory and tell you how many times this nigga came over somewhere and made the block hot, come over there and be like, yo, yo, where, 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 where y'all supposed to be? Come, come on, man. Are you, or you know, you, y'all over there laughing too loud or y'all chatting it up. It's like four of y'all bunched up in one section just having a good old time. Hey, come over. Oh, no, no. We closing the store, y'all. Come on. Come on. It's like, oh, my God, man. But most of the other... So, one of the... Listen, one of the managers... One of the managers was... Let me tell you something about the managers and supervisors. It's, it's like five or six of them that I could remember. One of them was like this this Russian lady. She was in like her... She was like probably 30-something. Like, she low-key minded her business if things were being taken care of. She was not a cock block. She just, she just was about handling business, respectfully. So let's say your section clean, y'all could talk. Let's say y'all cleaning while y'all talking, go ahead. Let's say y'all y'all ringing customers up while talking to the side of each other and y'all interacting with the customers. She would not be on your dick. It was another manager. Um, I was cool with her daughter and her and her niece. Still cool with them to this day. Good ass family, solid people. Her her niece is actually the one girl I always be wearing like some of some of the, her like merchandise and brand like real good people real alley-oopers if y'all know what i'm saying so um i was cool with her so i was like her favorite so i would never you know what i'm saying even outside of job like i was like her favorite so I, I would never get in trouble with her we had another another supervisor um uh she was like 25 24 but because she was in striking range even though i was like 16 17 a little bit i i still could sauce her up so i, I would never get in trouble with her because it was like a flirty kind of thing, but she still had to be a supervisor sometimes. She wouldn't cock block. She wouldn't draw too much unless the store was too busy. Boom. That's her. Out the way. Then you had um, th this gay dude, right? Now, the thing with him was he has history with my stepmom because she hired him in, in, in um, at, a, at a whole nother retail store and promoted him a couple positions at that other job. So he knew... That that was my stepmom. So I all and he was a manager. He wasn't a supervisor. He was a manager. So I always had a good rep with him. He knew I was like on some ladies' man shit. He knew I was like drawn with that. But like he would never cop black. He would never draw because it was like oh all right that's that's such and such you know uh, you know stepson that's such and such like she's the mom of my my little brother and sister. So he'd be like what well, you know that's that's such and such uh, you know whatever. So he would let me rock. He would like, I could really do what I want. Get away with what I want. And I was making sales. The customers was approving of me. We can do what the fuck we want. We had another dude who was like a store manager. Um, and he was like known for being like an alcoholic, being real laid back, real like a days cool. You ain't worried about him. Um, so that store, it was really a chill ass vibe. As long as you was handling business, except for the fucking, that one dude that just was cock blocking, bro. It's just cock blocking. Bad, bro. Like, like real bad, bro. That shit was crazy, bro. When you cool, as y'all know, you ever worked a job, like when your managers, y'all cool, y'all buddy, buddy. You really could do what you want. As long as you ain't like, 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 as long as you're not disrespecting the place, you feel me? You might come late a couple of times, you know, customer complain or whatever, like you might whatever, whatever, but you you really good. And all of that happens in the break room. All of that happens on your shift. What are you sitting there talking to them about? Like, like, I, I do not waste time when it comes to infiltrating any 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 hierarchy of a of a Cert of a setting I've ever been in. Period. Period. Because you never know when it'll come. And you never know when it will help you. You never know when your word or your connections can help somebody else. You never know. You never, ever know. You never know. For example, let's say all this shit went underwater and I had to get a job. I can go to any of those places if I find one of those managers or supervisors that knows me. I could, I could get in like this. Off the strength of, of who I was when I was there. Not even off of like the work I was doing there. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I was known for, you know, being, I was moving and grooving and whatever. You know, customers like me and stuff like that. But I wasn't like the fastest, quickest worker. I just was, you know, if I said I was going to show up, I'm going to show up. You know what I mean? And, um, and, and I was just a people's person. So it was like, I, they were like, all right, you know, I, I like this person. People do not always hire the most competent people, bro. If you are a people's person, you skip lines. You, 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 you skip a, even an interview. You just go right in off of a connection, off of who knows you. I'm telling y'all, this is the, the real game in life. You always lead with your best foot. You always, you never know who you're talking to. You never know who you're sitting next to. You never know who that person is. And I gave you another example. That was a, um, the college fairs I went to. That same lady I was talking to on the other side of that table was the same reason my name got put up for the for the full tuition scholarships and all the other scholarships which paid for my degree. You know what I'm saying? All big, all that one lady at the table that other students just kept walking past and taking the card and asking basic questions. I, I made a connection with her and I was able to get two of my homies the same benefits and then another homie another benefit at a whole different university because of the, you know the relationship I established with those men. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yo chat like like connections with people and communication. I'm telling you, it's the eighth wonder of the world, man. It really is. Got a job without an interview because the aunt knew the owner. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I link with people with others helping them to get in their start. No bullshit, man. How do you go about networking with people you're morally unsure about? What does morals have to do? What, what, what do you Give me an example. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean morally unsure about? Do I need to put us on game? I'm get, listen, I'm going to grab two water bottles. Give me examples. I will, listen, I'll give y'all some game and examples of the situations, bro. Watch this. Oh, boy, Hold on. No bullshit. I'm telling you. Examples of what? I mean, whatever niggas is talking about, bro. Whatever niggas is talking about. He's talking about... Morally unsure situation and put us on game. Bet you, bet you to come out in scenarios and situations, bro, that I could describe. My girl says she wants to go to the club. I don't want her to. What should I do? Um, you don't want my answer. <laughs> you know what you should do. You know what I mean? Um, I'm at my job right now off of a connection. See? Anyways, why shouldn't we mess with the co-workers? Because the manager going cock block? Because it's, it's bad business. It's bad business. It's bad business. Mind you, I was on some like toxic tie shit back then. But even still, it just, even even in my later job that I got, like after I was 18, in the John, she was at the job, she was like 28. Dogs. I would, I would have, she knew I was a smooth talker. So she had any bit of freedom, she would try to sneak her way downstairs and watch out if I had female customers. And then if I did have a female customer, she would try to be on the side of the register, writing things down, trying to stare at me on the side of my eyes. Cause she just to watch out, is he flirting with this girl? Is he gonna bag her? Is it like bro you used to hover me, bro? And then and then I wouldn't even catch her like it just became like suffocating a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So but it was a smaller job than what I was used to. But so you might you might come at the wrong chick, and cause some chicks might boost you. And what I mean by boost you, you lay some you lay some immaculate dick and great sex on this one shorty, and she and she spread that shit to all the other women, and they start so constantly saying like, damn, I want to try that shit. He got what? He do what? Oh, all right, y'all want some of that too? You know what I'm saying? So that might happen. But then you got the ones who do the opposite, sabotage the name. So that woman don't mess with you. It's like, come on, gang. What are you doing? What are you doing? Be a team player. And and, and even if they don't sabotage your name. Even if you don't know Bush. I had a woman do, the, do this to me. And they never even got no promises from me. Tell other women we talk. Or we are something serious. So you might be in the middle of setting up another side quest. You come back to work one day. And she like, oh, while I'm hearing from, you know, blah, 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 that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what? I done came to work with that a couple times. Like, who told you that? What? 
You come back, this one give you a cold shoulder. Like, damn, what's she here? Damn. I I was drawn, but like, damn, sis, making the block all hot. So that's a, that's one of my huge turnoffs now, even now in a woman, is a woman that runs her mouth too much. Everybody, all human beings just want to talk about something. It's just inevitable. But you got ones that keep it within a small inner group, and then you got ones which prey on gossip. Watch out for those ones. An example is a guy is known for being selfish and doing people dirty, but, you know, he has resources. A guy is known for being selfish and doing people dirty, but you know he has research that can help you get closer to something you want to achieve. I mean, if he's not being selfish towards you, then fuck it, so be it. Uh, but doing people dirty, you got to be um, intentional about that because if that if that dirty could cost you more than it has gained you to do business with him, then, you know, um, then it's a bad business. Bad for business and bad business because he will be a representation of you and I just also tend to notice that people want to deny this one as much as they want. Birds will put a flock together. So if you mess with somebody and this person is shysty, watch out for the people that are close to them. It's kind of predictable. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just the fact. Unless unless it's like something that he can hide, like I wouldn't even want to get into that. There's a girl in my class. I got my eyes on. And I'm gonna approach her tomorrow. Any tips, <sighs> bro? It is tomorrow is Saturday. How are you gonna approach her tomorrow? Like you niggas be lying, bro. Niggas be lying. Like do y'all see what? Like do y'all see how he lied and then didn't even have the uh, like the backup around it? Even if we say you was in Australia, 14 hour time zone difference, it'd be 10, no, excuse me. Um, it would be like 11 a.m. right now, right there. And it'd be, it'd still be Saturday morning. So then tomorrow would be Sunday. Like, bro, be fucking for real, man. And then I also, exactly, I also was going to say it's November 25th. Why are you talking about now? Oh, you know, it's this girl to my school. You just seen her? Y'all niggas see listen, this is something I learned. I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and say I was instantly at every chick I could get in high school. This was nine times out of ten because my roster was already pushing out the fucking door that I could I could I could take mental notes like oh yeah, I'm gonna get her later. I'm gonna go at her later, I'm gonna go at her later, I'm gonna go at her later. Cause my hands was already full. My hands was already a full. A bad day on a roster for me. Why well, it might have been 10, 15 chicks. A bad roster. A low roster. 10, 15. 10, 15. On a, on a bad day. So I'm, I'm like, ah. All right, I do want her. But it's bad timing. Why? Because this girl is actually a friend of a friend that this friend. So I'm like, ah, we're going we gonna to like space these out a little bit. And then we're going to do a swap out. But you niggas be wasting time with no, no nothing. Like, 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 if I was zero, zero bitches, nothing, which, what can you lose? <laughs> you have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. Let me go on football roster. Bro, listen, dog, Snap, Snapchat lasted one year. And I was like my sophomore year of high school, freshman to like, into like sophomore year. Nigga, do you know how far that shit went down, gang? Whew. Whew. I ain't even gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna lie to you, brother. I'm, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, come on, bro. Like, like, real shit, man. Be fucking for real. If you out here wasting time, what are you wasting time for? <clears throat> a woman is just a person. Why matter where she go to school? Um, do you recommend trying to talk to chicks in a private college? Nigga, I don't give a fuck if she was in a private island. Like, what are you saying? What are you saying? Switch up from the Astros. I think my Astro battery went bad, so I actually need some new headset. A new headset, and I want another Bluetooth one, cause this cord ain't shit. <clears throat> Being to these girls ain't that important that much. Not at all, but you still want it though. If you do, you do. 
Cop HyperX. Um, I need some. I need some. I need some good surround sound type of headsets. All right. Make excuses before you try causing it. Like niggas be on bullshit, bro. You listen, especially in high school. You never know. You bullshitting with that one chick, and she fuck around and be in a relationship for the next three years. Time is of the essence, my brother. I mean y'all. I mean y'all. Don't, listen, with y'all type of mentality, I don't think y'all would survive in Philly, dog. I'm telling you, Philly niggas do not play, gang. Uh, listen. Or that whole another man's trash, another man's treasure. You will sleep on a bitch. You will sleep on a bitch, and and she ten niggas are gonna go at her. Ten niggas that same day, cause in Philly, approaching a woman, we don't even we don't call it code approaching. We don't call it like it's not that big of a deal to us. We just do it. It's like normal. It's like you see a girl is attractive, you speak to her. It's just like just. Even if she's bad, ugly, whatever she is, thick, skinny, like it don't matter. You just we just do it. So you you on bullshit in, in some setting. Ten ten other niggas is gonna make their move, gang. So it don't matter what you do. It don't matter what you do. They gonna snipe, and she going and she gonna snuff you out for a bitch ass nigga. And she gonna smell you out for a bitch ass nigga. Is you gonna hold your ground? You know what I'm saying? Uh, keep it being them Philly hoes will, will bully y'all, a lot of y'all. The Philly chicks will bully a lot of y'all. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. This whole, you know, oh, she's masculine, she's aggressive, she's this, and like, whew, no idea. No idea, man. Oh God, I fumbled one of my old hoes, now she in a happy relationship. I just got lucky, man. I don't even want to talk about it. I can't even say nothing on stream, but I just got super lucky. Like, the time and the, the alignment of the planets is, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, we fasting. I look, he fasted today. I didn't eat till, like, 7 p.m. Since, from coming from, like, last night. They really love you, says, I run Philly. Uh, bro, you would give, our woman would bully you. Our woman, our woman alone, will bully you. You ever deal with a girl trying to hit you or test you? Hell yeah! I told that story on stream before. Hell yeah! And that was one of the chicks at work. <laughs> ah, that was one. Y'all remember I showed them screenshots on 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 stream, and um, showed you the messages we had, and then she was like, you know. And I was like, yo, don't ever, don't ever, like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't on that. Schwank, try to swing on me, bro. Try to, like, draw. But I ain't gonna lie. She really was one of them. I just had her in her soft girl vibe until something happened that she didn't like. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm personally, I I just have not been known for being uh, uh, a nice a guy to women. I'm not saying I, I'm an asshole. I'm like when a woman get to know me, she will feel good, she will feel respected, and she will be treated like like as a gentleman treats woman. But you know, I I don't bite my tongue. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't bite my tongue. I you know I kind of speak my mind. So in this particular situation, I'm not gonna tell the whole story uh, again. But in this particular situation, she was caught herself like pressing me uh, at work. It was like. Why, like, she said something like, she was trying to, like, bring up the fact that, like, I was messing with other chicks at the job, and that they be talking about me, and she was like, uh, something like, oh, you messing with all these bitches, da, 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 da. and I, instead of explaining myself, instead of trying to, like, suck up or something, I looked at her and said, you not my bitch. <laughs> Yo, dog. Dad set off a bomb in her mouth. I could literally see it in her face. I, she couldn't handle that. She couldn't handle that. I'm going to be honest. She couldn't handle that. I like instantly was like. <laughs> she was. Yo, listen. I ain't going to lie. May God bless that woman's soul. But yeah, she had some She had some anger issues. You know what I'm saying? That was like the fourth time that a woman has ever threatened to get me killed. 
Um, do you have any advice for someone with an OCD and a true? You make you already making two excuses. Just do what you want to do, gang. You already like, come on, man. <sighs> Constantly obsessing about negative scenarios. Is, is is it not still a choice to focus on that 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 negative scenario? Retake control of your mind. You ever fuck with a dyke that ain't gay for real? That should be different. I turned out the girl at work that everybody thought was a dyke, but she was like a feminine dyke. Turn, listen. She ain't give no nick. Listen, I got. I'm telling you, I I got I got Mount Rushmore stories that I just don't tell or that I just don't bring up because I don't feel the need to prove myself on the internet. I don't feel the need to like, oh, I did this, I did that. If you know, you know. If you know me in real life, in any given setting, I've been a fucking slayer. Any given setting. Humbly though, humbly speaking, the older I got, the more my focus started to be, um, you know, my success, you know, acquiring the goals that I have in life. Like, it, it became less about women around, I would say, my junior year, high school, senior year-ish of high school. I still was like, you know, a, a player or a lion to chicks and kept the roster, but it wasn't my main focus. It wasn't even... It wasn't that important to me at that point. You know what I'm saying? Still had my fun. You know what I'm saying? I did, still did what I wanted to do, but... Like, that shit burnt out. You know what I mean? It's really, really light, though. I mean, it's a difference. Growing up in Philly... Coming to Philly is not the same as growing up in Philly. You know what I'm saying? So I can't even say what it's like. You were turned out a lesbian. That's what she was, my brother. Is it is a dyke not a lesbian? David really loves you. There's no way you think you can come to Philly and be a boss and you don't even know that uh come on man, like use your common sense. Was there classes that helped you deep No, no. All experience, all work. I never even took anything related to like communication until within the past year. Cause that's try I try to make my degree match what I do online. You know what I'm saying? Get get experience. Just get experience. Already being from a, a major city, I feel like people from major cities just already, even as an introvert, you don't have a choice. You just, you, you big family, loud city, aggressive people. So it's just like, it just make you. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> public speaking has, has allowed me to like, when I took classes in like public speaking, um, it, 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 I always was a great communicator. I'm, let me let me comment that down. I always was a good communicator, right? But a lot of things matter more than you know I care about. Calibs, I appreciate the big four months. Let me tell you my areas of weakness and my and my one of my teachers, my professors. I'm still close with to this day. Always gets on me about this. Structure is one thing. Like I I, I can I'm such a good like improv speaker. Like I can go off my toes and think fast that. When it comes to like structure and overall like organization while giving a speech or communicating, that's another element that you know helps with um, retention and understanding. But I just I always depended on my ability to talk. So I just let's say I'm describing something that doesn't make sense. I felt, always felt like I could just break it down in a given moment because that's just how conversations work. Like they just flow. You don't have time to sit here and say, okay, how's my speech organized? So I always depended on my ability to communicate more than my ability to write a speech or organize one or structure one. Or here's my thesis. Here's my preview. Here's my first transition. Here's my um, um, attention getting step. Here's my, you know, all of that shit that goes into writing a speech is the stuff that I learned in public speaking. Um, other things like uh, um, the importance of eye contact and looking at some great people who, who, who were great at creating what's called immediacy in speeches, immediacy and conversationality. <clears throat> what degree you major in? I'm, I'm at DCU and I major in life. Have you dealt with a female version of yourself? Have I dealt with a female version of myself? Never. They always fold. I always. Always, always, always. Um, I'm actually a great person. I'm a great person. But as far as like a like a like a toxic tie version, no. And even if I did interact with that version of myself now, 
it wouldn't get far because I don't I don't have time for that shit. They would just get cut up. You know what I'm saying? I move differently now. I move with a different type of structure and principle as a man. And even with the woman that I'm, you know, deal with in life, um, a certain level of maturity, ambition, uh, and no focus that they got going on in life. I don't play that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? What's good, gang? What's good? K-Money, what's good? What's good? Graphical shit went out the window. What you talking about? Is that why you do FaceTime instead of text messages? I say that because I, I don't, I'm not a, I don't like texting. I, I don't like texting. I think y'all take things for such concrete directions that when I say I FaceTime her or get on the phone with her more than you text her, y'all niggas will sit there and be falling asleep on the FaceTime, boo loving, hooty hooty. Or or y'all use that as an excuse to not say things over text. When in reality, Patreon knows that texting is still a a key element of communication. It just it just is no way around it. However, how I use it is differently. You know what I'm saying? But why why do I say uh, FaceTime and phone call over text? Because guess what? If you were if you were like, let's say you mess with a chick, right? I, I listen. I give game for for bad bitches. I don't give game for easy women because if she's easy, she's easy. You don't need game. She's easy. Like it's it's it's, it's easy. It's easy. That's literally the definition. I give game for bad bitches. Why? Because guess what? With bad bitches, you competing with the roster. You you she got options. You know what I'm saying? It's certain ways that you handle that to where you don't end up like a sucker because she got she makes suckers. She she bad, she pretty, she got clout, she got status, she got money, whatever it was. It didn't matter because of how I how how I moved with my game. You know what I'm saying? Inflated ego. Even if the ego not inflated, let's say her ego is exactly how it actually matches her. She bad. She thick. She smart. She got a she got a job. Her own car. She taking care of business. Let's say it's not an inflated ego. Like she really that. You know what I'm saying? The game is not a strategy against her or you know manipulation. We don't do that. It's just it's just it's just advice to get a better result. So what I say when I say that is, you the whole Facetime on the phone thing. How many guys you think is texting her? What you doing? Yeah, you know, like, 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 she could, you could text her. She, she respond and then copy and paste that to ten other people, or, or you know, because another thing I do, I would do on Facetime is why you on pause. Uh, uh-uh, no, nah, I want to see you. Hop on the cam. You know what I'm saying? I don't even do the pause shit. You know what I'm saying? Unless I'm on pause, unless I go on pause, it's like all right, we not even on the cam, or it's late as shit and it's dark anyway. You feel me? But if it's like on some FaceTime and I want, I can see you and you see me, see you, see me, see you. You know what I'm saying? That's a little bit different than Todd Mike Low today. It actually might be. Hold on. You know, coming from the uh, coming from the Yamin. All right, that should that should have made it like a little bit higher. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, we go, we go. All right. But like I said, with the bad bitches, the nice chicks, rosters, options, and all that, you're you you jumping in the loop. You bagger. It's like nine other niggas. But guess what? The fact that you could bagger means what? They don't got the locks. They don't got the locks. It, it, like she like she's still open. Restaurants, stores still open. Stores not closed. Get ready to buy. You know what I mean? I say that to say, you already don't even have to respect her competition, your competition, because she doesn't even respect her competition. She might got a favorite nigga, but he ain't got the locks. And guess what? Guess what? I don't position y'all to be buying, uh, buying shit all fast, spending all this money on dates, and all this sucker shit, right? Therefore, you cannot go out bad. It's either a click or it don't. And guess what? Let's just get into it, though. But you in that roster, you join the loop late. You already the nigga that want to be on the phone, that want to talk. You already the nigga that when it, when you text, you having clear, defined plans. And, and let's let's get to know each other over this. Let's get to know each other doing this. Let's do this on this day at this time. I'll pick you up. Or if you want to get there, you know, however, I'll take care of it. So you already, you you the type of nigga, you, you put your foot down. You apply pressure for her. And then on top of that, FaceTime, phone call. She's she having so like listen, it's been times 
where I, I got the locks off one phone call. No bullshit. Like, and like, I literally, no cocky shit, no ego. I say it take me about one phone call. One good phone call is raps. I'm, I'm already uh, I'm already at least top three on any list of niggas that she messing with. One, give me one phone call. One phone call. One phone call. For I say for an average guy who don't really know how to showcase his personality, who don't know how to carry a conversation or establish a connection, I give you two or three. Two or three. But if she don't want to come see you after like two or three phone calls, ah, you might want to wrap it up, gang. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the method I had to do because I didn't have money or a car to be going to pick up hoes, to be going to pay for dates five, six, seven days a week. I had to... We either come into the crib, I'm coming to your crib, or it's not going to happen. Not even on some just trying to fuck shit, but like on some like, I ain't, who's spending all that money? I'm still, I, you know what's crazy? I'm glad I developed that habit. Even though I got money now, I'm still not like that. I'm still not like that. I'm still not, oh yeah, let's go out to eat here and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? We connect. Our vibes collaborate in a way that you want more of it. The sample tastes good. And you want the full meal. Come get a bite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Ever dealt with an emotionally intelligent woman? I I, I like to uh, make the woman I deal with become more emotionally intelligent. I educate my woman a lot of times. Not even a lot of times. Every woman that messes with me ends up better than when she was before she before we you know even stop messing with each other. Which is why a lot of times I, the, the, the front door is always open for a nigga like me. Even even the woman, you know, respectfully, and, and, and I say this honestly and humbly, I have done wrong or lied to or betrayed in some kind of way. You know what I mean? i always been in a woman life and have have left an uh, overall positive impact. It left her off some game, some shit that she used in her everyday life. Put, put Boosted her up in some kind of way. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas don't be having nothing to offer but dick, money, and clout. This is why, listen, I'm telling y'all, the internet... The internet like only thinks women like like four things, which is why when a guy gets a woman and he has clout, money, and status, they say he got her because of that. And and, and guess what? If he did, she's an L woman. Even if that's a part of who he is, even if that's a part of what she'd admire about him and how he handles his business, if he, he solely got her off of the fact that he had the bag or nice materialistic things. That's, those aren't even the kind of woman you would want. That's not even the kind of woman I talk about y'all having game with. Because those women are easy. You impress them and then you decompress them. They open them legs and it's already on. You know what I'm saying? Those are not the women I, I'm talking about when I make game. I'm talking about genuine quality women who handle business, do things in life. You know what I'm saying? Um, respect themselves, respect their family, and, and you know have some type of trajectory in life. Because that's the standard of woman I like and nothing less. We can go all the way back to high school. I've never been known for fucking with, ho like, excuse my language, hoes. Ran through, passed through chicks. Ever. Ever. And even if, and even, and listen, listen, let's say even if they got like that after the fact, I probably slutted them out. I probably turned them out. You know what I'm saying? Or, or brought the hoe out of them. And that's just what she just, she just built up the courage and confidence to go do what she want to do. But I, I bet you I ain't meet her like that. That wasn't what, that wasn't what it, how it was. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> Y'all upload this vibe. I'm crazy game right there. We're going to see, man. We're going to see how it go. You know what I mean? But I tell y'all, like, I get this shit from the real. I don't get this shit from me reading books and, oh, I read this book and it had so much game about female nature. I don't read. The, nigga, I'm really, like, this real life, bro. Real life, like real life, real life shit, and soaking up game from OGs, and and like just bro, I already think like this as a person, and notice these type of things. I just put the good intention behind it to say, all right, how can I use this to benefit people, not even just men. On the internet, my audience is predominantly male, but if it really come down to it, I probably help more women than males in real life. Before this whole internet shit, it was a lot of women that that you know, like. And I'm not even talking about like we some we on some bro 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 sis best friend type shit, but they just you know people just know when they can talk to you. People just know when they can they can you know 
get some advice or some guidance from you and they just you just kind of become that person that does it i ain't saying i'm better than nobody or my actions is perfect or anything like that it's just that people just had a tendency to do that <clears throat> know what i mean I ain't tapping to page. I mean, y'all better get it. Y'all better get it. You think two seducers can be together? Of course. <laughs> of course. Let the games begin. You know what I mean? How to overcome over OCD and intrusive thoughts? Just start practicing. Like, just just start. You know, re rehearsing and practicing. Like. The decisions not to, the decisions to influence your own actions. Like a lot of people just don't take a responsibility in their life because it's easier to blame something else. Oh, I did that because of my OCD. Which one of you, which one of you literally, like literally chose to do it? You were your OCD. Now you, you might've reacted to it, but that's not the same as saying it, like it, it made you do anything. It didn't put a gun to your head. It influenced the decision. And going back, taking a step back further, you allowed it to influence that decision. Why or how? I don't know. That's up to you to figure out within yourself. That's like saying um, fear. We take something that's general as fear. Oh, everybody feels fear and anxiety and things like that. So me and a guy both feel fear and anxiety to approach this same woman. He waits five minutes. I approach her as soon as I see her. We both have the same thoughts around approaching her. Our actions were different because we made different choices. Why? Because we just chose to. I don't, I don't know why he chose to sit there. I don't know why I chose to walk over there. I just know I chose to. But I know my reasons I chose to. Do, we, do he know his reasons he chose to sit there and wait? I don't know. But there are reasons there. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's motivation and, and, and there's motivation and reasoning behind everything in life. There's always a method to the madness. The more you know about certain things, the better you know how to handle situations. You know what I'm saying? You see some. Straight like that. I'm gonna try to put the chat like right here. It's easy to read and go back. They be using ADHD as an excuse that's most popular nowadays. Like, oh my god. Like just just pay attention to how many people have something to call themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just always always all these labels, all these titles, all these things that were given to them. Not even titles that they they that they bear willingly and with responsibility for example i am a father i am a brother i am a, a student i am a you know what i'm saying like like not even a title which 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 takes responsibility to embody just just things that we want to call ourselves in reaction to or or in on the receiving end of something else you know what i'm saying like oh i'm depressed you know what i'm saying my mental health is you know bothering me in this way you know what I'm saying? That's the identity I choose to live by. Because everyone is living by some sort of identity, some sort of way that they see or conceptualize or think of themselves. And, you know, that's just where it comes from. So whatever one you choose to go by, I don't know. You could, you could choose whatever the fuck you want. Um, can you get rid of the ones that was given to you? Can, can you use your own to, uh, to go against the ones people give, try to give to you? I don't know. That's up to you and what you choose to do. Some people call it delusional. But I saw a clip on TikTok where this woman was debating with a guy and he was like, you know, um, they were talking about thinking highly of yourself. And uh, uh, she handled it so well. But he was like, yeah, that's delusional. And, and you know, he went like, he, he was like, you know, I believe I can get anybody I want to get, you know, in any circumstance. And he was like, come on, like, that's delusional, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, he asked her, he was like, do you think I get Holly Berry? And she was like, can you? Like, I don't know. How do you know you can't, right? That's what he asked. That's what she asked him. How do you know you can't? Now, whatever reasons you come up to, at the end of the day, Holly Berry is just a human being. She's just a, a person. And whether she's this high status celebrity with all this money, all this whatever, and you justify that to say why you can't, in reality, is the is the is the probability literally zero percent? I mean, if she's married, that's something else. But you know, married all, not all married women are loyal. So we we could even get into all these other, you know, 
counters to why people would justify an outcome that they would justify and stand by, which which they'll use to then justify their actions. So whether it's inaction or whether it's their ability to decide to do it, are you optimistic or pes pessimistic? Are you are you hopeful of a positive outcome or hopeful of a negative outcome? And then what do you do based on that? How do you justify the you know the decisions around that? That is up to you. But don't tell me what I can and cannot do or why I should not should not do it because you have a different frame or lens of viewing life, and I have my frame. So I would not let yours decide mine. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? And and if I really did that. You know what I'm saying? Go back. Not the summer that just passed, but the summer before that. I had I had like a 3.6, 3.5 GPA, pre-med, honor student, cellular molecular bio, a resume, a, a, not even a resume, a, a curriculum vitae, CV, over two pages long of shit. Um, halfway through my through my career of how I calculated this shit to be free degree and all that. The fucking man. And had just got all these recommendations from top people at my university to get into this program uh, with UPenn. An Alzheimer's research uh, internship, a paid internship. And able to establish all this, blah, blah, blah. All that was lined up for me. And then on the other end, YouTube was just blowing up or just getting this opportunity. And you put that on paper between two people. And, and you know you had this guaranteed career that was just always that was already lined up. I had just got accepted to the the program in like May, which was like the end of the semester. So it would have been it would have been the fourth summer. Found out I got accepted. They only accepted like five people into this program, four or five people, and it was like yo, my whole plans was lined up that I set up myself to be in, and then also content was just starting to come up, but it wasn't sure. And the damn sure wasn't paying a lot. I remember back then, YouTube, a, a nice day on YouTube was probably like, like literally that shit went from paying me like $19 a day to like 70 within like the same week as I kept posting content. But I say that to say like it wasn't a for sure amount of money. I think the most I made that one month, one month was like 500, the next month was like 2,500 altogether or whatever. So it was still in like a, a low probability, don't really kind of bet on it situation. I was like, ah, I got this internship. I got an uncertain career path with like YouTube, which is like, who knows if that's a career. People get on, they fall off, they dry up, they don't stop growing, they don't make it past this many subscribers. Who knows, like, right? All these probabilities, all these ways to justify each decision I could have chose. But as a as a optimistic person with, with strategy and I trust my decisions, I bet on myself and now here I am. We about to smoke that 260K pack. We and I and we listen. I'm telling you, but it looked uncertain. Nobody else would have really bet on that or and dropped that internship. That email was one of the toughest. Sending them that email and saying, "Hey, I know I just worked my ass off to get in here. I can't do it." That was like one of the toughest emails of my life, bro. Toughest. But as soon as I did it, all this weight came off my shoulders. And I remember within like a um, that was like a week. I did it like a week after I had just got monetized on YouTube. It took me forever to get monetized on YouTube because of the watch time. I've been at the subscribers. But next thing you know, I'd be getting like 20K and 10K, 20K and watch time hours a day on YouTube after that. So it's, it's funny how the first 4,000 hours was hard as shit to get. But then I started averaging like double or triple that and quadruple that a day. So you you just don't know how shit to turn around, bro. Like you really got to bet on yourself. You just got to bet on yourself. And at the end of the day, let your track record, let your action speak for itself. But from a standard, from a standpoint of probability and is it likely? Probably not. It probably shouldn't have did that. I had a for sure paved out rule right in front of me and I chose to bet on the odds. Who would say to do that? Only you can. So, so you know, like in life, do you, what, what, do you, what do you justify your decisions with? Is it belief? Is it faith? Is it action, structure, planning, and growth? Or is it fear and safety? You know what I'm saying? People, a lot of people move off of fear and safety. Even if they love you. Most of the time, the people that love you will, will have the most fear in their decisions. Because the last thing they want for you is to see you in a, in a gutter. Under the bridge, homeless, broke, struggling, and down bad. They will hate to see you in that position. So the love is not bad. It's just that, you know, step aside while I show you what I'm about to do. You know what I'm saying? I hear you and I appreciate the love, but I got to do what I got to do. Respectfully. Respectfully. And that's exactly what I did. And no bullshit. As a man. As a man. 
That shit will do something to your confidence. And it, it, fuck being as a man. In life, even if, you, even if you're a woman listening to this, in life, the more you bet on yourself, the more you trust uh, things that, that, that um, it's unlikely or unfavorable from other people's perspectives, but you bet on yourself and trust your motherfucking bet, I'm telling you, it do something different to your confidence. You can't tell me shit. You can't tell me shit because I did it. I did it. I made it happen. Mr. Make It Happen. Fuck are you talking about? Hemothy Shalomet, Hemi Turner, Hemi Hendricks. You know what I'm saying? Hemi Kimmel. Ben Hemmings. Joel Hembi. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what you want to say to me? I did it on my own. 100K No Features. Made that shit happen in one summer. You know what I mean? It do something to your confidence. It really do. Because it, cause a lot of people in real life, chat, you don't want to be those people. Fake it till you make it. A lot of people be bluffing. But you know what happens? When when my my confidence is in my track record, my confidence is is in news articles. My confidence is behind behind me and in front of me. Shit, you think I'm confident from some shit I did? I'm confident because of some shit I didn't even get to do yet. People 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 try to live off their past, all that hype shit. Or look what I'm wearing, nigga nigga. I could I could lose all my money and lose all that, and the fucking value is right here. And what I'm gonna do with, up here? The value is between my ears. It's not. It's not on around my neck or around my collar or or on my shoes. The value is between my ears. So that's where you really get your real fucking confidence, right? You get your real confidence. People can't take that from you. People can't flex it over you or anything like that. You start to realize like a lot of people be bluffing. They be pump faking, and and it works for some people. You faking it till you making it. It works for some people. But when your confidence is is really founded. And in reality, is is founded on history. It's founded in facts. Oh, listen, you are you are an, an immovable mountain. You are an immovable mountain. Somebody could like even when a hundred candle features. I wasn't doing blind dates. I wasn't doing no collabs. I wasn't doing no IRL content because I didn't like bringing the camera in my life. People looked at that like, um, hey, as Isaiah, I appreciate the four months. Those are to the moon, right? People to the moon. People people looked at that like. Oh, he's a fraud. He he. We, where's his vlogs with women? Where's his IRL content with women? Where's his blind dates? Where's his IRL approaching videos? Why you don't post that? Prove to us you are who you say you are. But I knew I was who I said I was and more. And more. So that allowed me to patiently build my shit up. And then bam. Some, this happens, this happens, this happens. Now it's all this, oh, he's him. Oh, this is that. Oh, blah, blah. Why y'all bandwagon? Why y'all bandwagon? Why, why, why jump ship now? Why, why I take going overseas and doing this? Why I take uh this, this, this example or this example? I've been knew I was that and more. You just now seeing it. You just now thinking about it. You just now acknowledging it. Charles three one zero. I appreciate the T one sub, my G. I think I see you gift a sub too. You wasn't even sub. That's crazy. And shout out to 07 for the fourteen months. I don't know if I shout out that out. Um. But you know, people do that all the time, man. They do, they do that all the time, all the time. And I and I saw that shit. Listen, the confidence that they have betting against you being a fraud and a fake and a poser is just is crazy to me. It's crazy to me. And they they think and you and you'll be a fool to allow that to make somebody force your move. So nobody can change who I who I know I am based on who they think I am. Don't let that flower be his. Um, I think my problem is that I told some crazy shit and internalized it subconsciously. That's another thing, too. You can really internalize. And that's what that whole Allegory of the Cave video was about. That three-hour video I did from a 33-page paper I fucking wrote on, on some shit. And I put it in video format. That's what that shit was about. You know what I'm saying? Internalizing things subconsciously and subconsciously. And, and living by it. You know what I mean? So how deep y'all want to get? Y'all want to swim or y'all want to drown? For real. Or or we can go to some entertaining shit today. You know what I'm saying? A nigga like me gonna switch it up. What y'all wanna do? <laughs> I already know we hopping on Call of Duty later though, so hold on, I gotta see what time my homies hopping on that shit. I don't know what time yet. But we good, we good now. You know what I'm saying? We just talking. <clears throat> Your vision, your, your vision is your vision. Exactly. In nine times out of ten, your vision is coming from that third eye, that mind's eye, the eye that sees what you can see with your eyes closed, the eye that, the eye that sees 
what is not in front of you. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, we could really get into it. We could really get into it. Sit <laughs> pause, you want another man to try. This real life shit though. This real life shit. I hear people ask me stuff like that though, like, yo, what book you read for game, what 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 this you this from that. I really cannot express to y'all enough how like a lot of this shit I don't even know I know until I until I I just I just know. It's it literally I just know. Not to say my experience doesn't contribute to that, but I think a lot of it has to come to the fact like how I just view life and how I just observe and study things. I've just always been like that as a person. Always inquisitive, always analytical, always I listen, I, even my freshman year of college, bro. My friends used to watch me debate women on how they think. I would be 1v3 and 1v2 and 1v4 and women on how they think. I, the One of the things I would always go in and be like, I would be like, um, there's no such thing as the friend zone. And they'd be like, uh, that's not true. By the end of the conversation, we, we would all be on the same side. And I just used to do that to just to sharpen my iron. You said journal, write down my thoughts. Yeah, I'll journal up here. Experience is the best teacher, says the people who can't learn from, you know, uh, opening their eyes. <laughs> Experience is the best teacher of lessons, of lessons you can't, how do I word this? You can't understand yet. That's what experience is the best teacher of. But something you can understand, you can learn it without experience. Like, 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 um, uh, let me, let me see somebody turn a corner and then I hear a, a loud scream. I think I just learned that I shouldn't turn that corner. Like, I don't, I didn't need to experience that to know I shouldn't turn my corner. But you, you will need experience on the things that you don't understand that you might ignore or underestimate the value of that lesson. So that's where all jokes to the left experience is very pivotal. Because there's certain things, certain things people told me that I wasn't trying to hear at the time. Or, or you know, I, I had to really bump my head to understand. Simple as that, you know what I mean? Then you'll look back and be like, damn, this was a lesson this was a this problem was the progression of some shit I should have been fixed or learned. That's all that it was. This shit was not even about um you know, this shit wasn't even about uh uh some some new found information. This was actually the consequence of a lack lack of a, a lack of appreciation of some or some lesson or some 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 something I need to learn or pay attention to. <clears throat> Why is Nightbot talking shit? Nightbot be acting crazy to the grunts, man. Me personally, am I taking that level of disrespect? I don't know. Unlikely. Unlikely. React to the people telling they crush they like him. What are you talking about? What I'm supposed to tell my young niggas? Wow, I don't give a fuck. I ain't caring enough. Pandemic has been born. I've been running money up. I didn't even hear me. I've been showing only love. Uh, somebody tell us, man, I'm here. So I'm sick to him, sir. Uh, you think I'm a bot? Uh, okay, just some 19 keys on your leader. Nigga caught it night about to hand out disrespect if you don't give me pause. How did you become quick on your feet when it comes to verbal communication? Um, I said this to y'all before. Some people are faster thinkers than others. So, you know, you, you, you lean towards your strengths. Um, if you notice that you're not the quickest thinker, but you have great poise, you can change the pace in the, in the dynamic of the conversation. If you notice you're a good listener, but not a fast thinker or a fast talker, 
you can do less in a conversation, but have more effective uh, inputs into the conversation. I'm mainly thinking of debate when I just said that, but you know, like like lean towards your strengths in a way you could just be a quicker thinker is by putting yourself in situations that force you to think faster. You can't complain you're bad at something if you're not doing anything to get better at it. I'm telling you right now, watching my videos is not enough. It is not enough. What are you going to do about it? I remember my pre-calc teacher used to always say this. She used to go on the board, write this shit on the board, and but she would make sure she called people out randomly because she would sit there and, and she would call it, um, she would like compare it to sports. She was like, you don't get better watching. You don't get, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you're, you aren't able to do something because you can understand it. Like understanding something does not mean you can do it. Being able to, if something makes sense to you, that does not mean you can do it or live by it or do it under pressure or, or, or do it with your eyes closed. You know what I'm saying? I could be like, oh, flirt without complimenting. You're like, okay, I know what that means. Or go deep, not wide. You're like, oh, I know what that means. But you can't do it as, as in, a, in a normal conversation. You can't make it make sense. You can't you can't leverage it to, uh, 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 you know, establish a deep connection and, and be favored amongst all the other favorites. Some of you are asking questions in one of my streams or whatever that. Um, that's good. That's good. Ever heard of that? I don't know what you mean. Like, I think everybody has heard of asking questions. Male, female, family, or friend, stranger, adult, teen, or child. No bullshit. And when it comes down to it, bro, a lot of y'all think this shit is dating advice. This is this is just this is really just human interaction shit. And I said that to say it's the same game or the same way you can approach a woman or, or listen the same way I could approach a woman. Or, or, you know, bagger or something like that is the same way I could go in a business meeting or a business room or a college classroom or you could put me in any given scenario of any given situation and my communi my communication skills, my decorum, my intelligence would hold up in the same way. It wouldn't matter the situation or scenario. My intelligence or my communication skills, my game, my knowledge, it still would serve to my advantage. It, it wouldn't matter the situation. Vice versa, we go to the opposite. A lot of times the way y'all can't overcome the fear of doing something, whether it's approaching a woman or being able to talk to her. What do I say? How do I say it? I fumbled. I stuttered. I do this. I do that. I put you in another situation which brings stress to you and you will fold and you will fall back into what your natural state of being or habits are. Whatever whatever it is, we can we could put you in a... You could ask me... It, listen, somebody could knock on my door right now and say, um, we need you to present. Shout out Yahiko with the big one year B B. Dojo Strong. You could you could knock somebody could knock on my door right now and say, We need you to present to ten thousand people on any given topic. You have five seconds. And I would go up there and I would go up there and be able to present and talk. No doubt. No doubt. You got you got you got five seconds to hop on stage right now. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use like listen, I already know what I would do. No bullshit. No bullshit. I would use that in my uh, to my advantage. I would use that in my how I how I thread my speech or what I was gonna talk about or whatever. Vice versa. My homie could tap my shoulder. My listen, my literal homies have seen me do this IRL, bro. Like this this is not like a oh if if this. This is actually a real example. I always could literally tap my shoulder, and be like, "Yo, that chick over there, bad as shit." And it could be a group of chicks. I turn around, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go over there and approach them. No thought in mind, no thought in mind. All right, all right, what's up then? We over there. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the same you. It's the same you. You are the common denominator. Stop trying to blame the situation or the scenario. Obviously, some situations are more challenging than others. But nigga, are you up to the challenge or not? Are you down or not? Get down or get out. You know what I'm saying? Get down or get out the way. You are or you are not. Fuck all that trying shit. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I can finally call it W with her, bro. Why is it not? Listen, look at this. Look at this. All right. Catch this. I'm telling you, the only person I see that does shit like this. You're too slime. I know you've been on demon time. Lotto with the big 10 months. Appreciate you, gang. But listen. Listen, when it comes to 
how you think of yourself. Watch this. This person just said this 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 sentence in the chat. Um, I won't say your name. I'm gonna just read it out loud. It says, "Finally caught a W with her, bro." How does this how does this individual view himself in the in the situation? I'm gonna ask y'all that question. How how does that how does that one sentence, like five words, show how he views himself in relation to her? <clears throat> Somebody said beneath her, less than, he relies on external validation. Um, she's the goal, putting her on a pedestal. He's not the prize. He's lucky. He's unworthy. Desperate. He's the lucky guy. He's the lucky one. Happy for crumbs. He views her as the prize, made her the prize, that she's out of his league. He puts her on top. Beggar. Right. Overall, we could take those five words and see that in his mind that formed that sentence, him when he thinks of him in relation to her it's with the word finally w with her like all the whole five words just put that shit together so masterfully we could tell he views himself as lucky to have her or 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 he's like even mentally let's say this he's like trying to unlock a he's trying to like break into a door and it's like damn i finally it finally budged Already off those five words. That's how he views it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> That's the off them five words alone. That whole check came after his ass. Well, can't afford Gucci. You just exposed yourself. Because I didn't read your name. I just read the chat message out loud. You just said relax. You just, you know, uh, a hit dog going to holler. You know what I'm saying? We throw a bone, you going to bite. So we know you hungry. You know what I mean? I'm not listen. I'm not saying you should you, you should feel down about that. I'm just saying be aware. Why is it? Why is it not? She finally got the opportunity to get a W from me. Why? Why? Like like she finally earned the dick. She finally earned the 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 invite to my crib. She finally earned the date. Why? Why is it not that? Well, why is it? I'm lucky that she didn't flake. I'm lucky that blah 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 blah. Why is this? Why is this positioning so weak? Weak. This 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 sentence sounds like it's a part of a conversation I wouldn't be a part of. <clears throat> no force, no divorce, no intercourse. Listen, we we ain't doing it by force. We are doing it by choice. You know what I'm saying? Choose or lose. Talk and fuck up a whole mood. It's like, why was his mood already not fucked up? He's like, literally, it's a, it's a devil. I would, I would, it'd be funny. So, can't afford Gucci. Since, so, we know who you are. We already know who you are. You, you expose yourself. Tell us what the W was. The W that you finally caught. <clears throat> like, can you at least save a sentence like that for something big, like a house? Like, I finally got a house. I finally got my first car. I finally, um, you know, profited in the stock market. I finally finished this book. I fi like, can you do it of something that it has value in life? Let's let's just hear this out. What, what was the W? Let's see what you think the W is. Or, or let's compare it to anything else. And it better not be she kissed me, we had sex, or something like that. Because you probably ain't the first one to fuck. You probably didn't fuck the fastest. You probably didn't. She probably already from that sentence it lets me know. When you, when you fuck, if you fuck, it's going to be from the positioning of she lets you fuck. Not she wanted to fuck you. It's a difference. Y'all know we talk about this. Y'all know we talk about this all the time. It's a huge difference. Let's see what the level of... What is the W? I bet you I've been talking to Shorty for a week and she finally let me hit. A week. It took you a week. A lot of y'all in the chat, this ain't, this ain't for y'all conversation because I know y'all niggas be waiting months. I already know it. Was it at least the first link? The first link, second link? Was it at least one of those two? Come on now. See now when we talk, listen, chat. I know this is not a I know this a lot of y'all. I know this is way out of y'all league right now. I know y'all can't have this kind of conversation yet. I know y'all can't have this kind of conversation yet. But let the slayers talk. Was it at least the first link? And I knew it was sex. I knew it was sex. What, what, what she did? What she did? Did, 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 did she? Come on, man. 
Did she cook for you after? Did she clean your crib? Did she change your sheets? Did she make your bed when she left? Did she did she did she did she bring anything when she saw you? You know what I'm saying? Did she, come on, man. Let's 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 really get into what can come around in a part of that interaction. Y'all niggas just be getting pussy. What is pussy to me? Y'all niggas and then again, guess what to this? Y'all niggas don't even be lasting a long time. You you hype over something you probably appreciated for less than a half an hour combined of every round. Every round you fucked her in. Combined, probably didn't you can't add thirty minutes. Thirty minutes made your entire day. Jesus Christ, what a thankful and grateful man. Nah, bro, none of that. Nah, I'm, listen, I'm, listen, I'm fucking with you because I'm only, listen, my, 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 my urge of competition is not to shit on you. My urge of competition, you're truly a slayer, you're truly a man. Competition only make you up your game. It don't make you say, damn, I'm a loser. Because if you think like that, you're a loser. But if, if listen, if I see another man have three cars, two houses, he just made uh, uh, 200K this month. I don't hear that and say, man, fuck. Like, niggas lucky, man. Like, like damn, bro. I say, you know what? <clears throat> I say, damn. I say, damn. That's a hustler right there. Let me step my game up. That's what hustlers do. That's what, that's what, that's what real fucking shit talkers do. Somebody, somebody, like, I'm telling y'all, man. You, it is in you or it's not. You know what I'm saying? Do you hear it? Do you hear it and become and think of yourself as a loser? Or do you hear it and become, man, I, I gotta win. I gotta win today. I gotta do something about it. You know what I mean? So, you know, I only say that to, 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 to up the game. You know what I'm saying? What else what else is she doing besides having sex with you? Is anybody any I can have sex like I can have sex with any one of my one, I feel like. And even the ones I can't. That's probably wasn't even the biggest value of, of essence to her. She probably I wouldn't even probably have looked at her and said, She has earned a dick from me yet. And then it's even tears of dick. It's tears, it's, it's good dick, and then it's great sex. It's tears of an experience that I can give her as a man. So, it's a, just a whole different ballpark and positioning, my brother. So, you either come in here and get, get, get gamed up, or you out here paying for $50 dates, $20 dates, $30 dates, feeling lucky to get some pussy. You know, it's a lot. Listen, guess what? You go, a lot of y'all niggas get the pussy and never get the woman. You go for the woman, you'll never not get the pussy because the pussy come with the woman. But are we talk? Are, we, are you here? Do you hear me? or Are you listening? Do y'all want to swim or do y'all want to drown today? What y'all want to do? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. You celebrating over the pussy? Did you get? Did you get the woman yet? Did you get the woman yet? <clears throat> let you be under the weather. Let you be sick. Is she gonna bring something to your door? Let you be in need of something. Can you ask her for it? Damn, baby, I'm. You know, something. I, damn, something happened. I'm gonna say, I need a whole 300 real quick. Boy, bye. What the fuck? 300? Come on, man. Y'all ain't got the woman. Y'all just getting the pussy. <clears throat> do y'all want to swim or do y'all want to drown, man? Come on, man. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. You have any advice for getting girls and getting into social circles in high school? I wouldn't say here encourage, you know, getting into social circles. Um, Be friends with people that it makes sense to be friends with. You know what I mean? Like me a lot, me and my homies was, you know, we we, we, we all head crackers. You know what I'm saying? We all we all head busters, man. We all got motion. You know what I'm saying? We And we, things of substance we just relate to. And even even in even in circumstances that don't involve money or business, you know what I'm saying? Don't even get don't even get me started the kind of conversation me and my homies have. What's your most embarrassing rejections? Why is rejection embarrassing? You know, I'll tell you what my most embarrassing rejection is. I applied to get into this program at Penn State, which was a full ride overall. They probably only gave it to like seven people, but I didn't get it. I didn't get it. They gave me a lot of funding, so I would have had to pay like five thousand a year or something like that. That was my most embarrassing rejection. Oh wait, you was thinking about a woman? How could how could how could her saying no to me be embarrassing? Even if let me let me add this. Let me just give y'all the perspective. Let me shift your mind real quick. Let's say I approach a woman, and she say ill fuck no, right? Let's say that right. She say ill fuck no to me, right? 
You look up my real name. Fuck, fuck Taekwondo. My government name. You look up my real name. I'm in, I'm in news articles. I'm in, I'm in my university articles. I'm in, I'm in documentaries that been on TV. I'm, I'm that name. The person she just said, fuck no ill to. She, I'm, I'm still that guy. So what, what, what was embarrassing from her context? She only embarrassed herself. She can't play me. I'm past that. You can't. You can't play me. You, it's, it's, it's just certain levels in life. I'm respectfully, and I say this humbly. You can't play me, because I know the difference I make in any given environment or any given person's life I'm in. To, to, to embarrass me is to embarrass yourself. Respectfully. Based on my track record, my not this ain't even confidence. This is just real life. This is just some real shit. So it's just it's just two different it's just two different levels of life, gang. You going up there and saying embarrassing rejection? How? Who embarrassed who? Come on, man. Y'all y'all think too lowly of yourselves. Why would it be embarrassing for me to be rejected from situation? Okay, imagine this. Imagine this. Um, um, I'm going to take like a successful person's example. Okay. Right, matter of fact, let's, let's just take me. Let's say, let's say I apply to, to Harvard, right? And I, I never even applied to Harvard. Let's say I applied to Harvard and got rejected, right? Didn't get accepted. I go and outperform their, their current students, which are a part of their enrollment. Who's who was in, who should be embarrassed in that example of rejection? They missed the opportunity to claim my success. I'm not I'm not the one that get embarrassed from that. I'm gonna go. I listen. I'm gonna go be me regardless if you down or not. And that's why it's not rejection or embarrassment if I'm not the one that gets chosen. I'm gonna be me regardless. I'm gonna win regard. I'm gonna eat regardless. You know what I'm saying? Now whether you chose to eat at my table, hey. Go eat. You ain't got to eat at my table. I try to. I try to give you a plate and a fork or, or something, or at least a handkerchief. That's how. This is how y'all have to see yourselves in the world. In any given example, rejection with a woman, rejection at a job, rejection at at a, at a university, rejection on anything. I'm gonna be straight regardless. You know what I'm saying? And it, it don't let it be confidence. Let it. Let it be from what on paper how you represent yourself in this world. Period. We could we could take many examples. We could take any example. Like just let's we even take it to date and buy some sexual shit. A woman rejects me, and yet she's never had an orgasm in her life. She's never uh, uh, every man she's ever dealt with has been toxic. We like well, not even make it sexual. We 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 just make it sexual. Let's say she's never had an orgasm in any. She got let's say she got four bodies. None of them dudes that ever made her squirt, come orgasm, any of that. Legs shaking, none of that. Or at least the bare minimum, her legs were shaking. And then, mind you, every woman I mess with has done that. Come on, come on! Like who, who, who really, who really lost here in this situation? Then we go to let's say, let's say, it's a, let's say in life of the dudes she messed with, all she, all them dudes taught her is to learn to not trust niggas and to learn how to, how to, you know, deal, with, be more stressed and, and and asked out. I'm giving my chicks game structure. Showing them what it's like when you handle business and when you ambitious and when you got a fucking a conquering mentality. They just catching that off of me from just being talking to me and, and how I think as a person. Come on. like What, what scenario we want to give? What, what scenario we want to talk about? So this is how you have to know yourselves and this is how you have to live in life, period, to where you can stand in front of rejection in the face of denial and sit there and stand firm and say, I'm I'm a, I was good before I came. I'll be good after I leave, and I'm I'm good right now. I ain't gotta eat with you. You ain't gotta eat with me. I'm gonna be good regardless. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't my miss. It wasn't my it wasn't my missed opportunity. A lot of the, and guess what, chat? Like I said, not fuck confidence. Fuck how you think of yourself. Real life results and track record and your history speaks for itself. Your reputation precedes you. That way, therefore, a lot of people be bluffing. A lot of people be bluffing, and when they bluffing, you always win when you're the real deal. Because while they're bluffing, and their ego has compensated for their their belief in self, 
your your actions, reputation, past history has speak, spoke speaks for you. I don't even listen. I don't even have to get there and get up here on the stream or in front of somebody and say, "Oh, I did this, did this, did this, this." Look it up. You you might find out later who was that. Oh, I don't know. You you find out. You might not. You might never even not know. But my impact is still going to be what it's going to be in the world. And then and then it comes down to this: Who was you? You know what I'm saying? Quan the Conqueror, Genghis Quan, Taquan the Great is crazy. But it's real shit. Yeah, it is. But no, no, no. For the most part, listen, chap. I don't even walk around everyday life. Like if, like if a woman rejected me or something, a situation rejected me, I wouldn't rant. I wouldn't go on that rant after the fact. I just would like keep moving. Like You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't make a big deal out of it. Cause it's not a big deal. It wouldn't. It it would literally be like a raindrop falling on your car's windshield. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just wipe that shit off. <clears throat> That's just how I see it. That's just how I feel about it. That's just what I know. You know what I mean? So this whole rant was just me talking y'all, talking my shit to give y'all a, a placement into the mentality of high self esteem, confidence, inner self confidence, a true relationship with yourself. How does it sound? How does it walk? How does it talk? What does it think about? And how does it view things? Because a lot of y'all just don't know. Y'all don't have no example to live to to even see to take you outside of yourself. What true poise looks like. What true like come on man. True ambition, true and belief and betting on yourself looks like. And having walked the walk. Not not from some trying to motivate you shit, but this is some real life shit. This is some real shit. <clears throat> Raindrop in the ocean, exactly. Tip black pole, deal with time. Unnecessary dick ride, minus 10 yards. Give you an example on poise. I get an example. Um, Krishan Rock and Blueface destroying Kaisenot's stream. And from without any clip I've seen, I didn't watch the full stream. He didn't yell at them, he didn't curse them out, he didn't uh, react. He handled himself professionally, even in the face of uh, a situation which might have made a lot of us um, do certain things or say certain things. He handled himself with in mind his platform, his brand, his reputation, and stood on that. That's poise. Po poise, is, poise is a strength you, you cannot give or take from someone. It's not real poise, then it's it's hype, it's inflation, it's 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 not independent. True confidence is independent. Confidence, you, you listen. It be women a lot of times. Um, they they would like it's a, a tip. Like listen, if you mess with bad chicks, y'all listen. What my slayer said in the chat, right? It's a conversation between me and y'all. If you're not a slayer, just listen. You know, you mess with a chick and she bad. She like almost thinks you feel good about yourself because you mess with her. Like she like don't let that she like they, they always try to throw like slick, slick, humbling things in there. Like, oh, don't let it go to your head. Or, you know, oh see, now you going blah blah blah. And it's like, sis, respectfully. You ain't my first baddie, my last baddie, my best baddie, my worst baddie. You know what I'm saying? You ain't you ain't even bad to me because of your looks or physical body. You don't even know. I see way past that, beyond that in you as a woman. Or else you wouldn't even be messing with me. You know, you, you, you can't say that all at once. But my point, the point that I was making was, um, it, it wouldn't be true confidence if I got it after you or from you. Con true confidence is independent, dependent on w w what's within. Or else it's not real confidence. It, it shouldn't be dependent on what you have on. People talk about, man, I would have went at this chick, but I was in my work uniform. I bagged the most bitches when I was at work. I bagged the most bitches when I didn't have a car. I bagged the most bitches when... Uh, are you dumb? No haircut? It, it, it don't matter. It don't... It don't... Because the confidence was independent. It was dependent on what's within. It couldn't be dependent on some... Now, guess what? Obviously, there's boosts. Like, I know I got that shit on. I know my haircut's sharp. I know my skin clear. Or, you know, I know my bag, right? You know what I'm saying? Obviously... That, but but guess what? 
when you when you get dependency from with what's it then you know all of that is just a product of 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 you that's just a that's just traces of your greatness my bag my my results my success my achievements that's traces that's trails of my greatness that's not that's not that's just i'm great but that's just trails of my greatness um all right the ads run all right so i'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick i'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick i'll be right back i'll be right back i'm turning some non-copyright music on you know what i'm saying i'll be right back we ain't getting the vibes copyright Seth, I got you with the deal, so. Chad, shout out to Seth. Seth is a part of the Clips team. You know what I'm saying? We've been doing success. We've been hitting all these numbers, man. Shit been going crazy. I'm going to get for you a sub. I got you. Um, that was a Thanksgiving. Great, great. My grandma made me a whole sweet potato pie. I dipped that whole joint in like a day. Um, All right, subs. What's the, I mean, grunts. What's the last thing y'all heard before the ads cut in? I should call you a low ranking white belts. I'm gonna call you a white belt ninjas. Ain't that the lowest belt in, 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 in um, martial arts chat? The white belt? <clears throat> yes, white. Yeah, we just gonna say white belt. They, at least they're a part of the dojo. At least they're a grunt in the dojo. Uh, yeah, so white belts. What's the last thing y'all heard, man? The stash is back. What's next? No, the stash ain't even fully back yet. Um, I got a book list. I got a book list, Ishan. I don't identify as a police I just need to write one, man. I just need to write one. So when y'all start to realize that that your, your achievements, right? Zavo 3K with the big T1 sub. When y'all start to realize, like, your, so I, y'all know, I used to do a lot of collabs with my my guy, the man mindset, Steve the Dean, and we listen. I'm telling y'all, we I've never met a, another human being in my life, which has met me mentally like like Steve has. No bullshit, and that's no. It's, I met a lot of smart and intelligent people all the time, right? But the death, the death, of, like that Steve has, right? Um, and the one thing I was gonna mention was. One of the things he always says is, I am not my end result. I am not my end result. I am not my I do. You are not your I do. You are not, etc. You are your core. And I'd be flying over a lot of people's heads because they're like, what, what, what? A lot of people get confidence in the I do or I did that. I have done this. Oh, blah, blah, blah. They, they back their confidence up in, in, in uh, the external thing. Oh, I got this on. Or, you know, wh what somebody thinks of them. All these external things, everything except their core, everything on except what's within, everything except on being independent, depending on what's within. And the point I was going to make was that is because when you start to realize that, you start to realize like all your achievements, all your circumstances, all your anything in your life, is traces of your greatness or lack of greatness. That's it. Everything is a trace of your greatness or lack of greatness. Because even in the face of loss, even in the face of an L or, or a, a, an undesired outcome, I didn't get accepted at this school. I didn't get hired at this job. I didn't, you know, whatever, whatever, even if it's a, a outcome you didn't want or didn't like. Would that even still, what do you do after that? What were you doing before that? Will be a trace, will show, will leave in history, your actions, your results, etc. Will be a trace of your greatness or lack of greatness. Even in the face of failure or, or a bad result. You know what I'm saying? Because I could look here and say, okay, this university didn't give me this money or this, 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 this didn't happen. But I still ended up being successful. I still ended up making X, Y, Z a year or a month and, you know, took it in my own hands to show who I am as a person and what I'm about. You look at, you look at, um, 
how whether, you know, I go overseas and I produce the same results with women I produce here. I go in other states. I produce the same results with women that I do from Philly. And it's like, yo, it's it's really a, a it's me. It don't matter where she's from, how old she is, her ethnicity. It's me. I haven't seen all the ethnicities, bro. So I probably a couple in Africa I didn't see yet or a couple, a lot of European ones that I didn't see yet. But that's because that just does not tend to be my preference in women. But y'all know a lot of them tend to be easier anyway, um, respectfully speaking. Respectfully speaking. By easy, I just mean easier to talk to. Your your parent determine how you look when you're born. Your decision determine how you look when you die. Great line right there. Great line like right there. I used to feel like shit because I didn't get into my dream school, but a school doesn't define me. Why would it? You know what I'm saying? Why would it? Even like look at the look at the situations where these great men have dropped out of their colleges, right? They try to hit them with what else? What do they try to do? What do they? What do the college do after the fact? Let's see if y'all know. Let's see. Oh no, no, Rondon, what's good? What's good? What's good? Ross Barn the hardest live man, XD Philly on Max Difficult Top. I mean to be honest, like a lot of people don't make it out of Philly. And a lot of there aren't a lot of good examples in Philadelphia, you know what I'm saying? Growing up at all. At all. Especially where I grew up at. You know what I'm saying? Especially from what is exactly an honorary degree. Like they, they say, Okay, we're just gonna give you one, we can claim you. You you are one of our um, you know, honored alumni and et cetera. So I say that to say though, like, you know, that's why I, Anything I do, I make sure I put Philly on it because young niggas need to see, young dudes and people from the city and the area need to see that, you know, whatever a dude that's really from the hood, really grew up in the hood, really lived outside, has success and succeeded in environments which were not made for me, which which I was not prepared for, regardless of where I was from and maneuvered through them with high intelligence and structure and discipline. And still, and still didn't turn my back on no community. Still gives back. Still humbly, you know, does does what I does. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, I didn't grow up. Th- I I couldn't grow up and think about nobody, um, you know, that was older. You know, except Meek Mill. You know, except rappers. All rappers. Pre- predominantly rappers. I'm not gonna say everybody from the city that was successful is a rapper, but you just don't have a lot of like uh, examples in different circumstances that you could look up to. And then also say, oh, shit, they came from where I came from. All right, they must be from a, a rich neighborhood or this. Oh, shit, they came from the ghetto, too. Oh, shit, they was. Oh, shit. And they was bad. And they and they was damn near getting expelled from schools. 15, 20 plus suspensions. I was a badass kid. Real bad. You know what I'm saying? All, all a lot of dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? There are a lot of Mexicans in Philly. Um, uh, most of the Mexicans I met have been women, and they've been like from South Philly. Um, yeah, definitely got Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Haitians, Jamaicans, a whole lot of shit, a whole lot of shit, a whole lot of shit in Philly. When did you decide to change your life? I mean, I feel like uh, the, the the way I decided to change my trajectory, regardless of, of my how my environment was and not being a product of my environment, it came from the fact that I, I saw that my family was a product of the environment. And my family also never lied to me as a kid growing up. my Listen, I told y'all the story my grandma told me. Mo, listen, I can't even put half of the stories about my family on the internet, but I told you that one story. My grandpa dude took the gun from dude, dude shot the gun in his hand, he turned the gun around, and, and that's just one of the stories. Now, just imagine a circumstance which put him in a situation like that. This wasn't a robbery. This wasn't, this was some like, just imagine. Like, and I come from that. My my family always showed me like, yo, this is what, this is where this got us. What you going to do about it? You know what I'm saying? This is where this got us. This is how it is. This is how shit is now. Even if shit was booming back then, even if this, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is what it looks like now. So I took that as, 
I even at a young age, I was like, damn. Because I was already being bad at the time. I already was like, I, I, I already could see it. Even before like the age of 11, I already could like, this shit, my eyes were just always open, bro. I'm like, damn. You know, let me try to apply myself in different ways. You know what I mean? Let me, let me, what, what can I do? How can I do it? You think what you believe can really stop mental illness? I don't know. I just know my actions will not be uh, decided on uh, how I feel. I just, I just know no matter how I feel, I'm a, you know, my actions will be beyond that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That just stopped my whole chain of thought, though. But that was a good question. That was a great question. So at the end of the day, starting to like predict, like a lot of these outcomes. I started thinking at a young age. No bullshit. I remember being like seventh and eighth grade and starting to look at like, okay, what fields, what things make money, even in college or going to school. Even if I didn't know how I was going to do it or what it was going to look like, my mind and my focus was on not repeating the same history, which caused, you know, the, the, the situations, the circumstances it did amongst my family. So I'm very grateful for my family for always showing me. And, you know, wearing their history and their scars on their sleeve, wearing that shit on, on, the, on the surface, like not hiding it, not lying about it, not, you know, talking all that, oh, go to school, be good shit. It was literally like, yo, this is, this is, this is life. This is, this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Then what you going to do about it? What you going to decide to do for yourself? And how you going to live based on that? You know what I'm saying? And I think I feel like I, almost, I also benefited from being like the oldest of my siblings and like the first of my mom's children. Cause um I couldn't imagine if I had an older brother that was in the streets. That that that's another thing too. Like I ain't saying you are who your older brother or older sibling will be or whatever, but a lot of times people can't separate, you know, who they look up to, or they they don't really, you know, what's what's in the house. You just you just catch what you catch. You feel me? Obviously there was like old heads on the block and you know on my friend group and all that, but. It's just different. You know what I'm saying? I always be jealous of the kids who had the big houses with two successful parents. Yeah, no need to be jealous. Um, I will be honest, though. I, one thing that still irks me is when you see somebody who had a privileged upbringing, a blessed upbringing, you know, um, and they, they kind of like mimic urban hood situations. It's like, Dog, I'm telling you, that shit irks my skin so bad. It gets under my skin so bad. Let me look, see if you got five. What do you think about fucking stop? What do you think about stop fucking with sports and shit and getting some real money in online business shit? I mean, do do make a move based on your own justification and what you think. Because at the end of the day, chat, I'm about to get on the game soon. At the end of the day, at least suffer from your own choices. Don't suffer from the convincing of somebody else's influence and whatever. If I'm going to die, if I'm going to suffer, if I'm going to take an L, I'm going to let it at least be from, uh, I wanted to do it. You know what I'm saying? I could have made the wrong bet, and this content shit could have been an L. It could have flopped. You know what I'm saying? But at least that would have been my decision. You know what I'm saying? At least, I, at least I'm suffering for some shit I did. Like at the end of the day, every choice you make is your decision. But what I mean is, influence yourself. You know what I'm saying? Lead yourself. Don't don't be influenced by somebody else towards a negative something that could be negative, or you know something that could really change your life. Some dumb shit like try this food and it's nasty. I'm not talking about that. Like some of like, yo, you should try this food or you should try these shoes and you find out the shoes uncomfortable. I'm not talking about that. Something that dumb or that small. But y'all know what I mean. Just just think about those real big life changing situations and, and, and behaviors and habits. You know what I mean? You know you might regret your decision in the future. I would think your plan. If you know you might regret your decision in the future, I might think your plan. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that because you, anybody can regret something that didn't go the way they wanted it to go. So I wouldn't say regret is like a, 
a, a, a safe estimator of a good plan. I would say um, state of mind is a great is a great judger of a great plan. Like like peace of mind. I mean, like for example, even though I did have the you know UPenn Alzheimer's Research uh, paid internship, this is UPenn. This is a top Ivy League school medical school situation to get plugged into. It gave me peace of mind that I could focus on um, making an impact in the world that I wanted to, whether it was from videos, one-on-one calls, um, or whatever you know was at that state of being at the time. It gave me peace of mind knowing I could focus on that without trying to please both worlds. You know what I mean? Don't have fast your decision. Man, we can get into a, a million don'ts. We can get to a million don'ts. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Don't doubt. You know what I'm saying? Don't, you know what I mean? Like we can get into a, a list of don'ts. I thought she made a mistake passing out that. Um, I don't even think you was here uh, long enough to have been around when that decision was being made. But... Um, it, w- it was a mistake based on the path of becoming a neurosurgeon. Most definitely. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? But on the path of, of influence and impact in lives, it wasn't a mistake. You know what I'm saying? How would you do with family using you that don't benefit yourself? Uh, the same way I did with anybody that uses me that doesn't benefit me. I don't. They don't. They aren't. There's no way for them to it. They don't have access to me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows what not to do, but not everybody knows what to do. Uh, you'd be surprised. Is that the best way to do it? Yep, yep. Get the Patreon. Yep. The Patreon DMs. You can look at it saving lives in two different ways. Exactly. And influence. Pre- the prevention is better than the cure. No, I mean, let me see some. Mm, 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 mm. I'm about to call of duty with the homies. With the, with the, ha, ha, homies. <clears throat> that sounds goofy, bro, but do you believe you can accept something about yourself but refuse it? You either do or you don't. What is this half accept, half refuse shit? Like, for example, being an asshole and accepting it, then realize that you'd rather be nicer. Um, all right, what do you, listen, this whole middle ground of, like, realizing this and thinking this and questioning that, what are you going to do? That's all that matters. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about how you feel or what you think? I wouldn't sit in the middle ground and say, um, 